Today I thought I would show us this cool Soviet era padlock that I've got. Recently purchased this off eBay. You can see there's a maker's mark there. Price stamped in the bottom. Uh, it's got this sort of normal keyway. It's made out of cast aluminium, so it's not too heavy. It's got a very cool looking key. You can see it there. With a pretty reasonable bidding. It's got a cool circle pattern on the head. Uh, goes in. It's actually the core itself. I would need a light, but it's actually the uh, no. It's actually the core itself that retains the shackle. So when operating it, you have to make sure there's not too much like up pressure on the shackle, or it, it really binds. But if it's nicely pushed in, it's very smooth. Alright, so I thought I'd give this a quick pick. So maybe hopefully a quick video. They're not guttable. So yeah, it's just standard pins, but it has got that very good bidding on it. Um, and it feels a little bit like it's full of sand. Which I'm guessing is just due to the not super great manufacturing processes. There you go, put that down pressure on. Okay, pin two is binding. There we go, that's set. Overset maybe. The feedback in this lock is very hard to sort of work out. Sometimes it's really obvious. And then other times you just get nowhere. Okay. Nothing's biting. Come on, what's going on? This thing picks in seconds off camera. So I've tried to film this a couple of times now, and every time I get to trying, and it just suddenly I lose all ability to pick it. There we go. There we go. Yeah, when it actually picks, it picks really easily, and you got to turn this all the way around, and then it can releases the shackle. So yeah, that is my uh, Soviet era padlock. Not super difficult, but a very cool piece of history that I'm glad to own. Thanks for watching.